Hi there, it's Chris again. You guessed it, we are back in my personal science lab for another virtual science short from the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. And today, we're gonna to be doing a dissection. So, not a traditional dissection as you would normally think of, but today we're gonna to be dissecting flowers. This case, we're gonna be dissecting hibiscus flowers. All right, so we can gather our supplies and get started. So first and foremost, safety first. I've got my gloves on just in case I'm allergic to anything in these flowers. I've got my goggles on. So we're gonna gather our supplies for our dissection. So we're gonna need a cutting tool. I'm just using a simple paring knife. If you are doing this with little ones at home, feel free to use a butter knife. In fact, that's what we use at the Science Center when we do this as a class. We actually use plastic butter knives, which work just as well. I'm only using this because I want to give the best cuts possible on the camera for you. You're going to need your flowers. I have a flower bud as well that we're going to be dissecting. And of course, a nice clean cutting surface. I'm just using an old cutting board. You can use a paper plate, a plate that you're going to wash afterward or even just the counter works fine. Before we go cutting into our flower, we're gonna familiarize ourselves with the parts of the flower. So, as you probably already know, these five pink parts here, those are the petals of the flower. If we turn it over and look at the bottom here, we can see where it would have been attached to the stem, as well as these green little leaves and those are called sepals. If we were to look at that inside of the bud or on the outside of the bud of the flower, we can see that is what protects those petals inside of there. Inside of here, we can see these parts with the yellow sticking off of them. Those are the stamen and those are the male parts of the flower. And right down the center of it here, all the way down to this bottom part here on the inside. That is the female part of the flower or the pistil. Okay, now that we've familiarized ourselves with the general parts of the flower, we can go ahead and get dissecting. First thing that we wanna do here, we're gonna take our flower and we're actually going to remove one of the petals. So I'm just gonna pull it back gently like this. And then we're also going to remove those sepals that are in the way there. And the reason for this is it allows us to get a cleaner cut as we're going to get inside of the flower. So there's one main thing that we want to see here, and it is right in the center of all this here. So if you remember, I mentioned all of this is the female part of the flower, and this down here is what we call the ovary. And in the ovary, there are ovules. And those small ovules are what will turn into the seeds of the fruit for the plant. Once we have our petals and sepals removed, we're gonna go ahead and begin our cut. I'm gonna flip this over since I am right-handed. This will make it a lot easier for me and it will look a lot better for you. So you're just gonna be very careful as you pinch on the sides here of the ovary and you're going to take your knife and cut right down the center of that line there. Just like that. And there we have our bisected flower. It looks very, very beautiful. Okay, so our next step here is going to be removing this entire organ along with this here. So this is the stigma up at the top and attached to it is the style which connects it to the ovary down here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that style. A really easy way that I find to do it, just using the back of the knife here, facing it towards the top of the flower and sliding this right in between here. So you can see just how easily 
that comes out without damaging it. You can also use a toothpick for that step. Just be sure that you are very, very delicate with it. So you can see just how thin that is there. So we have the stigma right here. Again, that is connected to the style, which travels down and connects it to the ovary. Now inside of the ovary are the ovules or the eggs. And what happens is pollen comes hopefully from another flower, lands on top of that stigma, and then travels down all the way to those seeds where they will be fertilized. So now that we have the stigma and the style disconnected there, all we have to do is pull apart here. And we have our female organs of the plant. And this here is the male organ of the plant right up here. So we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. But what we see here, those are the filament. And on the end is the anther, that little yellow spot that you see there. Might be kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in closer for you. But that there is the is what holds the pollen. Okay, taking a closer look here at the ovary, we can see those tiny little specks all along there. Those are the ovules. Again, those are what would be fertilized by the pollen over here coming down this tube into here and it will fertilize the ovules that are located inside of the ovary. Okay, so I told you we'd check out the flower bud before we head out and we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna follow the same process for cutting it open. This time we don't have to worry about removing any of the leaves or the sepals and we're gonna leave the petals exactly where they are because we wanna see all of that. So we're just gonna grasp it firmly on both sides and we're just gonna cut right down the center there, just like that. And we can see all of the undeveloped parts of the plant inside of there. So we can see the yellow parts right there. Those are the anther, which would produce the pollen. We can see the ovary right down here, which houses the ovules. And then we can see the petals right here which are not fully developed yet, but this is where they would pop out of. And then right inside of this half here, we can see the sticky stigma inside of there. So again, not as long as the flower would be once it fully develops, but we can see all of the parts there. So to give you an idea, here is the stigma attached to the ovary here via the style, that long part. So that is how long the fully developed flower would be versus the bud of the flower here. Okay, so I've turned the light down, that way we can see the ovules better inside of there. So again, they are not fully developed because this flower is not ready to bloom just quite yet, but we can see they are in there starting to develop, to develop and we can see all of the other parts in there as well.